Hey, what's going on, Dev? Welcome back to App Dev Channel. In today's episode, let's learn from scratch how to draw a underline link hover effect using just HTML and CSS step by step. I think this is another great addition to your portfolio or website. So let's get started. All right, Dev, let's start you really from scratch, okay? In the beginning, we created this index.html, our markup, then our style.css, okay? Once we have those, we need to create a bullet plate, okay? So let's come here, hit exclamation and tab, and yeah, we have our boiler plate, okay? It's quite simple. Now we hit tab a couple of times and we go to the title. And here in the title, let's say the name of the project, okay? Or whatever name you would prefer. In our case, let's say go underline hover effects. Okay, it's more than one. We have the underline and change the color. And below that, a link connect to our markup to our CSS. Now let's move to the body. And here in the body is gonna be a quite simple markup, okay? Let's have our nav, the UL, another list. We need four allies. And inside of these allies, we need anchor tags pointing to nowhere, okay? As you'll note, we are using Emmet because it makes it easier. But if you want, you can use the regular way, okay? Let's come here to the, our allies, and the first one is going to be home, the second one, services. Then we also have contact, and the last one is going to be about, okay? Let's use the live servers, and let's see side by side what we have so far. Looks like we have a very ugly list. We are now in the realm of CSS, where part of the basic happens, okay? Let's start out by changing the font. We want to use the poppings, okay? We just copy and paste it here. We are not using that yet. Now let's move into our CSS reset. But before I have a reset, our CSS reset, allow me to show you why we need that. Let's go to the body and I'm going to show you why. Okay, I'm going to show you a border around it. Okay, different browsers offer different margin and padding. Okay, if you're in Safari, if you're in Firefox or Chrome, a different one offer different margin padding. So let's get rid of the padding with padding zero. Get rid of the margin also with margin zero. Box sizing, we want that to be border box. And yeah, as you can see, it's done. So now we no longer need this border. Let's get rid of this one. And instead, let's give it a color, okay? A nice background color. Okay, come here and background color. Let's say something like 0A, 0A, 0A. As you can see, we cannot see the font right now. So let's give it a white color, like RGB 226, 226 and 226 and yeah we have it and now going from the top to the bottom we want to apply some style to our another list okay as you can see right now the our list is on the top of each other they stack and we want them to be horizontal okay so let's make a couple of changes first of all let's come here to the line 16 and another list the height, we want that to be 100 VH, okay? The width, 700 VW. And we also want to apply a mean width of 600 pixels, all right? And now let's use a display flex, as you can see. Put it side by side, align it the center along the cross axis. And just by content, we want to space them around, okay? Give some space in between them. All right, as you can see, it's much better now. One last thing we're going to do here is apply margin auto. All right. 
As I told you, let's go from the top to the bottom. Okay, it was also not the list. And the next in the line is gonna be the list. Okay. First of all, here, let's give it a position of relative. Okay. We will also need a list style none. Get rid of these ugly bullet points. Okay, let's come back here. There's more things to do. The font family, now we're gonna apply the poppings from Google Fonts. Okay, so you have poppings. And as a fallback plan, we have some serif. Okay, let's also change the color here. It's gonna be A0, A0, A0. We should also change the font size. Okay, font size 18 pixels, make it a little bigger. Let the space in between the characters is going to be dot five pixels. Now let's create those underline that you saw in the beginning of the project. Okay, let's have a pseudo class. The pseudo class after and here content is going to be nothing as usual. Okay, and the uh, position is going to be absolute. The background, let's pick a reddish color. Okay, it's gonna be this FF3C78. The height is gonna be three pixels. You can change and work with your own numbers. The width is gonna be 100% of its parent. Okay, as you can see, we have it, but they are not in the right position, as you can see. So let's fix also that. Down here, let's have the left zero. Put them in the right position. And from the bottom, we want that to be minus eight pixels, okay? Now let's create that animation, okay? First of all, let's make them a little bigger. Zero padding, top and bottom, and 10 pixels, left and right, okay? Make it bigger. But as you can see, we have done the line without a animation and we want them to have animation, okay? So let's do something very simple here. Let's create a hover effect. Let me show you here. Let's grab the list and apply the hover effect. Hover. And let's have our pseudo class after. And it's gonna be actually very simple. Right now, the width is 100%. And let's change that to zero, so you see nothing. And when you hover over this one, it goes back to the 100. Let me show you. It's happening, it's not beautiful, but right now it's happening, okay? So you order to make it more natural, let's use some transition, okay? The transition is gonna be all dot five seconds and easy. Now let me show the difference. Yeah, much more beautiful, okay? It's working. Nice. But as I told you, we have more than one hover effect in this one. We also want to change the color of the font. So the LI hover, let's also change the font color. So the color here is going to be white. And now allow me to show you the difference, okay? Take a look at this. We have the underline and also the font is changed. So it's a nice effect. Okay, Dev, that's all for today. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.